Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Wonder Snatch. Today we're going to do more makeup tutorials in this series that I'm doing, but I'm going to move away from drag race queens and I'm going to do drag queens from other countries. So why not start with a local queen here in Singapore and one of my favourite queens, Salome Black. So if that's something you want to see, please like, subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload new videos. And let's get started. Right, I'm back and got a video playing right up there and I'll be following along. I'm trying new settings on my camera so just let me know which ones you prefer. I'm trying a different lens and some different settings so maybe this might be better. The other one is a bit too up close in your face, right? Okay, let's see what she starts off with. Hi everybody, my name is Fatli Roman. Salome appears to have shaved off her eyebrows so I need to get rid of these fellas here before I start so I'm going to do that off camera and be right back. Okay, so brows and sideburns are gone and I'm just going to uh, put my lip balm just like Salome. It's from Rimmel. Um, sorry about this boo-boo here. I steamed my own hands straightening some wigs for a future video. And today I'll be using my e.l.f. Paulus Putty Primer. Salome goes in with some Sephora liquid foundation and I just happen to have some right here which I barely use so we're going to do the same. She's using a stippling brush to go over her whole face so let's try that. I don't usually like using brushes for foundation because I feel it um, Street, it looks a bit streaky. So I've got some Sephora Medium 26 Peach here and I'm just going to coat the tips of my brushes okay, and just paint on the foundation. Salome Black is the mother of the House of Black in Singapore. So there are several um, drag houses in Singapore. The other one is the House of Miss Joachim, headed by Vanda Miss Joachim who was on uh, Drag Race Thailand Season 2. Salome is also a very, very, very talented wig stylist. And she really steps up the game of wiggery in Singapore. You see all these beautiful wigs on Instagram and on Drag Race and everything, and you can't find them in Singapore unless you go to Salome. I think Salome also works for a theatre company. I see a lot of that on her Instagram stories. Okay, you see? Well, it does look kind of like streaky, so... Okay, I'm going to zoom you guys in. Okay, so I've zoomed you in so you can see what I'm doing on my face. So continuing in the Sephora and I'm going to mix in a bit of this um, tan 35 for the darker shades around the, around the sides of the face. Just circular motion. And then she highlights with a contour stick. So I'm be using my Cryolan 070 to highlight the same pattern as her. Okay, so she does. Wait you see, once I contour with the darker color, it will shape my face more. Sama sama? It still brings out. Yes. You blend that out the same. Oh, she does that. Me, my highlights in the same here. And then I go over this. Okay. Painting on the contour. So I put it on my brush. So I'll be using my V21 for my contour and she paints it on this usual. Blend, like, white, like, so I'm just white, following white, that white, white highlight and then that I did earlier I use for this maximum pencil. contrast. I like so I, whenever I draw my eyebrow, I do this because then I can see my shape. Contour the nose. If you do your eyebrow wrong way, then see your face shape. Just to follow her brow shape, she does something like I think because we are painting for the audience, like we are painting from the stage to the end of the door. That's how we are brought to like seen. But I think you know you want to look the fish is a tiny little one, you know. You think this is long way for my liner? No. So then I'll use derma color facing powder. Now she's setting her face with derma color with a waterproof powder. I don't have that, so I'll be using my regular powders with my Van Nice Super White mix into the highlighted areas. My my okay, and Cody as fun everywhere so else. Naked okay. Naked okay, and now she goes in with eye. So I'm just going to set some translucent powder underneath to catch any fallout. She's going into mainly neutral colors in this video, but I will be switching it up and trying to make it more of a pinky shade today. You'll find out why at the end of the video, so watch all the way to the end. Okay, so instead she's using this tan color to do her, her transition shade and instead of that I shall use a pink on this fluffy brush and today I'll be dipping into my Morphe purple and pink palette 
and I'll be using the pink transition shape, pink primes, all right? And that goes into the same place where she puts this tan. Okay, so just make sure you know the eye shape goes all the way up there to the tail of the eyebrow. And she likes to bring that into the base of the eyebrow too. And now she's using darker brown to deepen up the crease. So, so instead of that, I'm just going to use a corresponding shade in the shade of the pink purple families, okay? So this is a great way to um, adapt different makeup styles to different color palettes. Okay, so I'm, now I'm going in with Boule to right into the crease. Okay, and blend that outwards. Okay, so keeping the same eye shape that uh, Salome is doing, but just with different colors. Okay, going in back in with pink prize. I'm going to use a smaller tapered brush. I'm going to go in with Plums Up, which is this deep plum into the outer V. Okay, circular motion. So keep an eye I'm going back in with the other two colors just to buff that out. Okay, and she also brings that down into the under eye. So going in with the darkest shade. Now she cuts a crease and for that I'll be using my blank canvas, my P. Louise blank canvas. Okay, this, a little bit of this goes a really long way and she keeps it, keeps it tight right here. This tutorial is about two years old, so I'm pretty sure she paints differently now. I'll put some of her recent looks up here. She's really quite talented. She changes up her face every time, so I, I really like that. Okay, and now she dusts off the powder. So this is just basically replicating her brown eye with a pink eye. Okay, and make sure this is snatched. Since I'm not doing face tapes today, I actually forgot my face tapes. To contour my face today, I'll be using the Anastasia Contour Kit. Okay, um, I hardly use this because I keep using the NYX, but I think that the colors of these are much, much deeper. So let's just go in. Starts out with the highlight colors. Okay, so she does highlight colors. Okay, and then her contour. And for, and for blush, I'm going to use my kimchi palette, Watermelon, this really intense pink shade. And she brings her blush all the way down here, but I tried that in a previous video and it made my face look really long. So I'm just going to concentrate my blush where I usually put it, right up here. Okay, and I'm going to marry that into the eye. Okay, now she's moving on glitter. I'm just going to darken up these eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back. All right, so I've darkened up my eyebrows and now I'm just uh, cleaned it up with some of the 070 and now I'm just setting that with a bit of sugar pill taco, okay? And blending that into the pink to give it a nice contrast. For highlight, I'm gonna to try to use this um, pink shimmer in the in a Morphe palette called Here For It. And it's a pinky violet shimmer. And then she goes in with some glitter in the crease. I'm gonna use Pearl Pearl flexion in the inner corner. She's also using a liquid glitter and for that I'm going to intensify it with a little bit of diamond dust. And then she draws a white line there. And for that I'm going to use Jeffree Star Drug Lord on an angled brush. So I know it's quite pink up there already but let's just be a bit daring and I'm going to try this really pink shade called Summer Livin' from Gerard Cosmetics. Okay, and let's just see this, how this goes. This makes liquid suede. This colour you can't even see, you can see it with my teeth. But you cannot see my lips. It looks a little bit nuts, but I'm going to go in with my dark, sh dark shade Plums Up, just to contour that and give it some dimension. Wow, what is that? You go wrong, just overline it. This is actually... Highlighter. Just going to redo well, that a bit. So now I'm going in my Gerard Cosmetics Lip Pencil Red Brick and Road and draw and line my lips. 
And my Elena changes every show. Now let's put some lashes on. And going in with Morphe Boho and the sling. Dry, let's put it on. It's more of a gloss. And me, I'll just put it so on. So we're gonna line the, the bottom waterline. Eyelash. Now she's lining her eyes. She puts on her lashes first before lining her eyes. But I'm not sure whether I can do that. Okay, she's done. So I'm just gonna pop on my eyeliner just like she does. She goes all the way around the eye. I do that off camera and my lashes and I'll be right back. Now I'm gonna Finish change them. out to my And I'm my back. This is the first wig that Salon Black ever styled for me and I'm so in love with it. She styled this for me for a wig that I went to in Bangkok and it was such a huge hit. Um, pictures up here. And I've been addicted to big black wigs ever since. Check out her Instagram at Salon Black and also her wig company, Big Black Wigs. Maybe buy a wig or two from her. Wigs really transform the look. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, ring that bell down there and subscribe so you're notified every time I upload new videos and I'll see you next time. Cue the montage.